Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is the first book in a fantasy series and I... yeah, I don't really know. I got the book because I heard a lot about it on booktube. It won the Hugo Award and a lot of people were talking about it, enjoying it and really raving about it. And I think it was Jen from Today in Jen's Library who got me onto the idea of getting the audiobook, which is really well done. I really liked how the audiobook was narrated and produced. So that's not the problem I have. And I don't really know if the audiobook at the end is the best way to read this, because I think I was confused sometimes. I would have preferred from going back and rereading things. But on the other hand, I don't think I would have finished the physical book. The story is told by three female narrators. We have a young girl, a young woman and a little bit older woman. And they're in different things going on in their lives and in this world. So we learn about the world, we learn about their situation and they all have some special powers. So you keep flipping back and forth between their narrations. And that is a part I normally like in books. Here I found it rather boring but I don't know if I found it boring because I found the characters boring. There was nothing really to them. The young girl had not a lot to say about her. The world or the areas of the world that described surrounding her were rather bleak and depressive. The young woman was very angry and annoying and she was just hateful and I really didn't like most of her story. And the older woman was just mainly sad because something sad happened and so following her in this story was also like, yeah, I don't really have a connection to you, so I don't really know why I should bond with you and care. That is something that I really had a problem with, caring about anything in this book. The world is also something I really didn't like. It's not that the world is badly designed or badly described, it's just a very rigid world. It's very case-like. The, the people in this world have set roles and they are limited. So our main characters have a special power that casts them out and people are afraid of them and they basically just treat them like they're not human. And this is a huge part of the story that they are really feeling like not human and that people use them and control them and that they're outcasts and really don't have any rights. And all that is very interesting. So the world building is although it is a bleak world, it's a interesting world. It's logic in itself, but it's not a world I like to read about and I couldn't get interested in anything. I don't know why. I just didn't really get enough information about what was going on. So maybe I didn't hear it or it wasn't given yet because this is the first book. And for me, that was just like, I have too many loose ends and not enough interest to pursue them. So those were my main issues with the book. I know that a lot of people really, really like it. So what I want you to do now is tell me what you really, really liked about the book. Because apart from the lack of interest, I found it rather predictable. All right, let's talk about the fifth scene. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.